Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Tyler here, and welcome back to Bloom's Monkey City iOS. And here's my city. Not much has changed since the last episode, except more monies, and I started getting ceramic balloon building, yada yada yada. Basically, my city is an unstoppable force. Kind of. Also, I heard a phone call, but I guess that's been grabbed. Hopefully, I won't have to answer or anything, because we're going to do a special mission, whatever this one is. The, uh, Submarine Alliance. Uh, join forces with monkey subs and defeat the ZOMG balloon. And basically we get to do this and get the, uh, submarine first city, if this goes well. I don't know if it will. Uh, it's worth a shot. But, yeah, here goes nothing. I, I actually have tried this a couple times before. I think I have a strategy for it, but I didn't play the last round just because I didn't want to beat it accidentally. Then I'd... I don't know what I'd be able to do. I mean, I wouldn't be able to replay it or anything, and that would just suck. So I'm going off intuition here and hoping that it goes decently. So anyways, boats. Boats are your allies. Uh, I wish I had a couple more, to be honest. Uh, maybe one more boat. I'm not exactly sure how many boats I can get. I think I can get one more port. I'm not too sure. But we got three. So I'm sticking with that. Starting off, I uh, got a 1-0 sniper and then boats, two of them. One at 2-1, another one at 0-1. Just the grape shots, the overall really good thing. And you cannot forget about the uh, other monkey subs there. Those provide a decent amount of popping power, and I'm going to be sticking with those. Hopefully for a bit. Getting to second boat now. This one's going to be 8-2-1, just so we can reach around the uh, bend on the very top there. And, yeah. So my city level is 14. I would not recommend trying this before you have a higher level city. And I don't even know if the strategy will work for everyone. Maybe I'm just going to get lucky or something. Heck, I don't even know this is going to work right now. Maybe I shouldn't be doing a live com. And maybe I should just record this silently then talk over. I don't even know. But I'm just going with it. I don't have too much time tonight, to be honest. I have things to do. So gonna make this quick also what's gonna come in handy really soon once I get the money is going to be the spike factory as soon as I can get the money because I mean this is a short path but what's nice is that you can just kind of cover the exit with a, a nice little barrier it, it's, it's a cushion it's an ass cushion pretty much it protects you or your ass for a bit until it gets overwhelmed, which hopefully won't happen. I also have 15 emergency road spikes in case if I need to. So essentially though, a ZOMG balloon is going to come at the very end. And what I'm hoping is that if I repair the submarine, that it will have the uh, ability right away that automatically takes down a ZOMG. That's what I'm banking off of. Yeah, I'm hoping that's not too much a stretch. Just have the ability so I can take that down and then my tower should be able to do the rest. Anyways, round six... Uh, sometime before round 7, you're going to want two bomb shooters just in front, uh, at the beginning of all paths, just so you can deal with lead balloons. You'll get more lead popping power eventually, but I know for a fact that one zero or single one zero sniper is not going to be enough. You need some serious stuff. Anyways, though, your, uh, bottom path is tech or right side path is technically weaker than the left side one, just because, uh, two boats compared to one. So I'm getting up the spike factor for this first. And then I'll catch up with the other side. And then I'm going to get some ninjas. Because, well, I have third tier ninjas. And those are extremely, extremely useful. And, yeah, those, those just destroy balloons pretty freaking well. So I'm sticking with it. 1-1 uh, one, one Spike Factory, that's all I got. 1-2 could be nice, but I don't have the money for it. Uh, have not gotten that in my city yet. Oh, well. So let's see. Getting this now. I'm, let me think. All right. So I'm going to get a 3-2 ninja, getting you right here, just on non-stop, because I'm not too worried about this. I think I'll be fine. Uh, just going to get this up to either 3-1 or 3-2. I'm thinking 3-2, but either way, I'm going to want a 3-2 uh, and a 2-3 ninja on both paths. Yeah, it might be difficult, but it is definitely worth it, just because those in general have a lot of popping power. So with that there, I'm actually going to get my, uh, let's see. Right here. I'm gonna get my uh two three ninja up here. But first one three. Just need to get the uh faster shooting, then I'm gonna start working my way over to the left path. 
If you're going for flash bomb, then the uh, whole sharp shurikens, I think that's how you pronounce it, shurikens, yeah, aren't going to be too useful to you. But, I mean, it has a bit of popping power, so I'll get it eventually. But first, flash bomb. Just gotta save up a lot of money for it. But, something that should be noticed about the mission is that to repair this submarine and hopefully unlock the ZOMG uh, takedown ability, you need 8,000 bucks. 8,000 bucks. Good news is you can sell towers in this mission and earn money, so uh, that'll, that'll definitely come in handy, to say the least. Uh, getting that now, and now I need another ninja. Hopefully, oop, don't die on me. Okay, so I get in this, and I'm getting up another flash bomb, and I'm just going to go ham on the ninjas, pretty much. I only have four ninjas total, so that's two per path, which should probably be enough. That's what I'm thinking, at least. But as the rounds get later and later, it's going to be tough defeating all the balloons that come. To my knowledge, it, there's no normal no Moab class balloons or BFBs or anything like that that come. Just the ZOMG at the end. I, I had to actually take a close look at the screen because I wasn't too sure if those ceramic balloons were getting far. Turns out they weren't, which is nice. Uh, just slowed that down. I'm doing okay. Going to get this flash bomb and everything's going to be nice. Alright, that's good. Uh, now I'm going to get my second ninja up here at 3-2, uh, however long that takes. I, sh I should be able to afford it in time, right? Yeah, I should be able to. Um, getting this. And really, all you guys need to do is follow the strategy and you should be fine, <laughs> unless it doesn't work somehow. Uh, I, I tried a couple times and failed just to get a idea of what to do, but now I think I have a much better uh, grasp of how to handle this. Uh, so now I'm going to get this Sharp Shurikens, just so it's a lot of more general popping power. Uh, going to level up this too. I don't need to get uh, the camo ships. I don't think that's too necessary, to be honest. Or not as necessary as it could be. Anyways, now it's the time to get a bunch of a 0-2 uh, Dart Monkeys, <laughs> just for general popping power. I wish I had third tier, that would make life a lot easier, because I'd have so much more pop power, but sadly, I don't because I'm a lazy ass. Yeah, I, I really need to get to my city and level up a bunch of stuff. Oh well. Um, so I have to watch out for the camel rainbows. Okay, so that means the next round is going to be uh, ceramics. So I need just a bit of time to place all these dart monkeys. I can't micro as fast on here as I can on the computer, sadly. So I'm going to stick with this. I know the bottom path is more vulnerable to stuff. Going to get this too. And just going to be getting more uh, dart monkeys in general. Zero two for more popping power. And there we go. So here comes the ceramics. I think, yes, yeah, this is a difficult round. Uh, this is the second to last round. Next round, ZOMG comes. So you can say I'm pretty nervous about this whole thing. Uh, here come the ceramics. Very early too, so it doesn't give me much time to react with the spike factory. Uh, what I'm hoping is that I still have enough overall popping power. Spam the road spikes. Spam them. Spam them. Somehow did not leak at all. Oh my gosh, I didn't leak. This is fantastic. Um, gonna get this real quick. And I should be good for this round. Just kind of save up a little bit of money now. There's not much more I can buy. I'm out of dart monkeys. So, uh, let's go. Final round. Here's the ZOMG. Uh, this is coming in kind of fast, so I assume I have to sell a bunch of stuff. Well, what? What do I sell? Do I sell you? I could sell each of the flash bombs, I'm thinking. No, I'm going to sell... Uh, what I'm going to sell... I don't know exactly what I want to sell. Shoot, this is going to be rough. Oh, there are mobs that come. Crap. Okay, so let's kind of knock that out right there. Uh, and hope that I don't die here. Ah, I beat it! Okay, that wasn't no, I lost, but I still beat it. I beat that Moab on the top. Ah, that's way too close. I won. That missile took out the Moab and the ZOMG. Wow, okay. So, note to self, time that. Also, I still got Bloomstones regardless. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was a little bit too scary. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that was going to happen, so that caught me off guard but got lucky there. Cool. So, in case you didn't know, that ability takes down a whole ZOMG. Also, I got a new mission, dive and conquer. I believe this is just build submarines, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, I might as well do that now since I have some money and space to place that. So, let's see. 
Let's get a submarine buildings. How many am I allowed to get? Wait, where even are these? Oh, here we go. I can get up to five? Holy crap. That's nice. It's a good deal. All right, so I'm going to place a bunch of these in uh, the water. Actually, I'm also going to get the submarine upgrade building before I forget. Oh, wow, that actually costs quite a bit. So, right about here. I'm just going to leave it here for now. I can always move it if I want to later. And, yeah, so that, that was that mission. Wow. <laughs> I have now beaten, t unlocked two of the missions. I want to try the blue chipper blueprint next, but that's going to be for another video. Let's just harvest up our cash. Maybe I can afford a second uh, building. Oh, I can. Awesome. Second submarine. And I hope some of you can use this guide to your advantage. I know you need like a lot of specific towers and stuff, and that might be a bit difficult. But hey, at least it's something. It's better than nothing. Oh, I require more power? Shoot. Okay, I guess, that, I guess that's it for the video. Let's just kind of harvest stuff from here. Then in the future, I will have to get more water mills. Wow, did not realize I was low on power. But thanks so guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if this strategy helped at all. It's not supposed to be a you know straight up walkthrough. It's kind of a guide-ish. If you can adapt it, make it better. Hey, good for you. That's that's definitely a good thing, to say the least. But yeah, this is how I beat it somehow magically, and I'm never gonna have to play that ever again. Cool. So I'll catch you all in the next episode.